audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. Now Virgo, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Virgo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most because that's how I keep up with y'all through the aha moments that you have and you sharing with them with sharing them with me so I know how they correlate in your life right uh, if you enjoy this reading I would appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out this channel a lot and I always appreciate when you guys take the time to do that for me um, uh, to just help out my channel um, and then finally uh, Virgo, I'm not here to make a decision in your life this readings here just to give you some perspective some food for thought right um, you know your situation better. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life because it's your life to live, not mine. But with all that being said, let's start getting into your reading now, Virgo. The three uh, cards that I pulled for you for your overall energy this week, Virgo, is the Five of Cups, the Full Moon in Aries, and then the Two of Cups. Whew. Let's unpack this real quick, shall we? The full moon in Aries. This is a fiery climax approaches. So this is definitely a week, uh, Virgo, where you can anticipate something happening, right? What is that something? Something? We'll find out with tarot here soon, right? Five of Cups comes in of where you, there's, it's that cup, uh, being over, like uh, focusing on like your spilled cups, right? It's kind of being forced to move on from something a little bit. It kind of was a little bit rough, perhaps as well, because it is like that sense of where um, spilling over, like crying over spilled milk, essentially, where it's just like uh, some type of bump in the road that happened and you can't kind of take your mind off of it. It kind of like shook you a little bit. And maybe that's what that fiery climax was, where it's just like, some bump in the road happened, some conflict might happen, very much so five of one energies that I'm getting. Um, and it's like, I don't know, it's kind of like forced you to like, it's in this situation where it did some damage to you, but it, it didn't take you away completely because it's just like you have the two of cups here. And something else I want to point out with this Virgo is you have two cups here as well that are filled still. You have three cups that have felt, uh, spilled over, but you still have these two cups here. And that follows through in here as well. And the thing is, you don't in this in, uh, in this individual Virgo, this person doesn't see the, uh, these two uh, these cups being filled. Still, this person is just so focused on the cups that were spilt over that It's almost like they don't even realize like what those cups being spilt was trying to direct them to. I do feel like it almost, now that I'm like reading, reading into this energy a little bit more, Virgo, I do get this sense of where there is going to be some bump on the road that spills your drink a little bit this week. That's meant to re, uh, realign you a little bit, shift your view a little bit, trying to get you to where it'd be most prosperous for you. You may not realize it right now. You may just see it as an inconvenience this week, but I promise you, like later down the road, it's going to make sense and you're going to be happy that you, um, went through that. Right. So let's start getting into tarot. Let's start getting into the career side of things for my Virgos that are interested in hearing about their career and their finances, their money this week. Right. Let's start getting some cards on that. Figure out what's what that looks like for you. As I drop all these cards into my lap, my goodness. All right. I cannot shuffle tonight. Apparently, Virgo. <laughs> my gosh. The card that came out for you is the Eight of Pentacles. This is the card of going back to school. This is, but you don't necessarily have to be going back to school, right, Virgo? Obviously, this is just a card of learning. Um, so maybe you're learning like a new method in the workplace of how to like. Dare I say like it's going to be super random, but it's almost just like you're learning how to like. What I'm getting is like dealing with the workplace or managing like 
the time that and energy that you're putting into your work that gives you money super random but it feels i don't know it feels like you're just getting like your gro a better groove of things virgo you might even that might also be correlating to your full moon in aries where it's just like things are starting to um look up for you or you're starting to see like the fruits of your labor almost is something that i'm getting so it's almost like it's motivating you to continue working hard in this in this avenue right let's pull some clarifiers and see what's up with this though the world card came out page of wands ten of pentacles wow very good very good cards <laughs> virgo you have the ten of pentacles which is such a good card to have for your career ideal probably one of your most ideal cards aside from like the sun card or the magician card perhaps ten of pentacles is that nice stable energy it feels like in your workplace really for a lot of you virgos it feels almost like your work is probably the most stable or your finances are the most stable that they've ever felt right and if they don't feel that way i feel like it's because you haven't had your page of wands moments those that the those that do feel this way um as the virgo probably already had like some type of sign being like okay this is actually really working out so maybe like you open i always say like you opened up like an etsy store or something right you started like learning about like what it is that you need to do to get your business out there and once you started doing that you started reaping the benefits a little bit right you started being like wait a minute i'm making some sales wait a minute i actually can do something out of this right it starts building up more and more especially when you have the world card the world card i see is like a the, like events happening in an organic way where it shifts to change where it like causes a change subtly right and it shifts your perspective as well and makes you realize being like wait I can make something out of this. That's really what that energy, this whole row is about, is realizing it's like you can make something more out of something that you're dabbling into in regards to your finances. Um, so definitely this week, what I would say, Virgo, is put your feelers out there. That's the best thing that I would say is like put your feelers out there in terms of like what it is that you would want to make money off of because it does seem to be pointing towards uh, giving like some sense of getting like a breadcrumb left for you or you real like it's like you putting action into this is you're going to quickly see results that shows to you that it's worth the investment to put in further right page of pages represents new beginnings that want wands represents forward passionate movement and so it's just all really good cards balsamic moon a time for healing to close off that energy i do feel like for a lot of you virgos um, the success is going to be kind of like a star moment for you. What I mean by this is the star is the representation of um, wish fulfillment. It's that card of where it's just like something that seemed always so unobtainable. You actually start seeing signs that you can obtain it or you actually do obtain it. And it's through that you start feeling such a release of weight. You start feeling cleansed. You start just, you know, maybe even start crying because like things are just starting to work out in regards to your career. And it just feels almost surreal for you, right? But let's get into your social interactions for this week, Taurus. Why am I calling you Taurus? Virgo. I apologize, Virgo. See what's up with y'all for this week. Two cards that came out for you. Uh, before we pull clarifiers we have the four of wands coming in with the knight of our king of cups wow virgo y'all have a really beautiful week so far i mean we saw the general row but it's like y'all have a really good week the four of wands and the king of cups like four of wands lets me know of like a very promising relationship a very when i say relationship platonic or romantic it doesn't matter um but i see this where it's just like two people feeling pretty secure in themselves king of cups comes in of where it's just like you know i feel like emotion like i feel like this is one of the like the king of cups doesn't have to play like a like both of these cards just have such a sense of security in terms of how like their emotions and how they feel so it's like you feel extremely safe in this connection like you don't question how they're feeling you don't question their intentions behind you like they do because they fill up your cup in some type of way. So, but let's pull some clarifiers because I feel like the story changes up a little bit here. Okay, so wow, you pulled the lover's card. Well, I guess I pulled the lover's card for you. The lover's card comes in. Uh, I feel like this card more so comes in just to speak on the depth of the situation more than anything else. I'm going to be honest, and this, then this is where we get into the nitty gritty of the message. 
We have the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords for you, Virgo. So this is the energy of um, rising above from something. This is an energy, because with this Five of Swords, this is that energy of where... <sighs> I see this as like, I always like to see this as rising above. Um, even when other people are trying to choose to be petty, right? And then this Nine of Wands comes in from a place of power. So maybe, interesting message that's coming across now, maybe in terms of your social interaction, I almost feel like Spirit's bringing forward these messages to you, Virgo, and like whatever situation that you're having anxiety over, over like, this would be more so with regards to like a very close relationship. So I'm saying like, you have very strong emotions towards them. It's not something that's just like casual. And again, this could be, you know, this could be like romantic or otherwise. You can still have very serious feelings for a best friend, right? A soulmate friend. I feel like Spirit's really trying to give affirmation to you in that um, you don't have anything to worry about, right? I feel like with this Nine of Wands and this Five of Swords, there's some type of anxiety or where there's like this sense of... Um, I don't want to say distrust, but there's like this sense of like worrisomeness of where it's just like, well, you feel like they're your person now and they have your back right now. There might be like this insecurity and feeling like they might leave you at some point. Definitely pointing a little bit towards abandonment issues, right? Um, Six of Pentacles comes in. Maybe you're feeling, yeah, I feel like it's like an issue, fear of abandonment issues, fear of... Um, things like eventually coming out of balance perhaps right or perhaps here's the thing i feel like with the six of pentacles you feel almost as if like you're the one constantly putting in effort when it comes to this connection perhaps even though you enjoy this connection there's like this sense of where it's just like does this person even like me anymore right because you do have like these underlying thoughts are just like moving on right six of swords i do just get this sense um virgo that this is kind of like an overthinking nature. And maybe perhaps because of this bump on the road, this fiery climax, right? This kind of puts you on edge, right? But I want to remind you with this two of cups here that this is promising in terms of your social connections. So overall, in terms of your, like, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really getting too much aside from just like an affirming message and like you don't like, I just keep hearing you don't have anything to worry about. Um, let's pull a moon card to close out this row because I'm just like, I keep grabbing at decks to see if there's one that's calling out for this row and none of them, like, I'm not getting anything. Um, it's almost like Virgo, they don't want me to feed energy into this to like have you spiral more. It's just almost like being like enough thing overthinking about it, right? There's some type of connection you're overthinking. Um, we have the adjustments are required in confidence. Okay. <laughs> We have the third quarter moon, adjustments are required, and then we have the new moon in Libra, or Leo, confidence is the key to success. So I do feel like some of you guys just lack the confidence in terms of this connection, like you don't feel like you guys are as strong as you guys actually are, and that's where the adjustment needs to happen for you, Virgo. That's where you need to just have confidence in this connection, realize that if you're having insecurity about it, Perhaps it might be your own projection, right? Now, you might have some valid reasons for why you feel on guard in terms of this connection, uh, Virgo, right? That's not the argument of whether you can feel, whether you feel, I'm like losing my voice, oh my gosh. <laughs> whether you feel valid in what your thoughts, right? That's not a question, right? You, you Obviously, your thoughts are valid because you had them. But what I'm getting at is... Um, it just feels like you're putting too much stress in them, like potentially abandoning, abandoning you. And I don't think you have to worry about that. I truly don't. Um, five of Cups comes, like, I want to reference this Five of Cups back from before again. It almost feels like something like disappointed you. And that's what put you on guard, perhaps, for this social interaction. Whether it's that same person that did that or somebody else. It's almost just like someone disappointed you, and because of that disappointment, you kind of just anticipate it with everybody now. Or maybe you just anticipate it with this person, right? Maybe you don't have that cynical view with everybody. It's un I guess that's unfair for me, Virgo, to think that you might have that cynical view with everybody, right? But um, let's look at your last row. This is going to be the row for your spirit messages. These two cards wanted to come out, I guess, all right? And the two cards being... For you, Virgo, the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Pentacles. 
This is definitely an energy where, Virgo, your stability is in your hands, I feel. You are able to make the choice on like how stable you want your life to be this week. This basically meaning, like, do you want to completely uproot your life? Do you want to cause some chaos in your life? Like, let's associate it to your uh, social, right? If you choose... Y'all can't see it, but I just had a bunch of cards just flying. <laughs> what was I even saying, Virgo? It's like, you're making the choice of if you want to be stuck on things, right? So let's just say with your social connections, maybe for you, you're just like, you're so used to um, being abandoned by people or people disappointing you that you just choose, make the choice to not rely on people. And that's fine and dandy, but it's because you choose not to rely on people, Virgo, that kind of um, inf affects your wheel of fortune, King of Pentacles, your stability, your, you know, your emotional wealth, even like your financial wealth as well, I feel. Even just your overall happiness, Nine of Cups. It's because you don't want to let people in, because you always like are anticipating people to disappoint you, you set yourself up for that disappointment. You set yourself up for thinking like you're always going to be left out in the cold or disappointment, whether it's in your social interactions or even just for your workplace. If you just feel like your workplace is just going to, like, even if things start working out good for you, Virgo, you're just like, oh, I'm sure maybe even like that cynical thought comes in where it's just like, oh, like something bad is going to happen now because something good is happening. Yeah, you just kind of anticipate a tower moment, even when there's no tower moment to be had. So you never can fully enjoy a moment. You can't enjoy anything good in your life because it's just like you dealt with so much BS in your life beforehand that you just, you don't want to set, you, you don't want to get excited for anything. You don't want to open up to anything because that just sets you up for more disappointment and you've constantly experienced that, which I can understand, but you know, you're never going to experience that happiness until you make the choice to open yourself up a little bit more, Virgo. Uh, don't let pride get in the way. Full moon in Leo. So you got new moon and full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in the way, right? And that pride could just very much be like being afraid of failure, being afraid to fall flat on your face, even though you wouldn't, right? And even if you did, what is that? Why? Like, that's not failure. Like, it doesn't make you look bad at all, Virgo. But yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. But until next time, though, Virgo, I love you so much. Bye.